Last night I'm watching CNN and they have a special one, the 60s, the British Invasion. And it's kind of a come on to let you get ready for their series of the 60s in May. You all know how I feel about the British Invasion, how I feel about music. They're talking about the Beatles. They had some of the clips, which were incredible. The Dave Clark Five, which was, uh, you know, they're the greatest. And, uh, and a lot of the other groups, the Animals and everyone else, talking about the Beach Boys, of course, was a reaction to the British Invasion. And, and a lot of the other music and, and what was going on it was only a small snippet. What was disconcerting and what has always been disconcerting is we hear on other stations how people really put down the 60s. All it was was drugs, all it was was this, all it was was that. Put down, put down, put down. The 60s generation was horrible. That generation, they don't know what they're doing. I'm here to tell you that those commentators are out of it and don't believe a word that they say. Doesn't matter what they say, it was so wrong. Look at the 60s. One of the most incredible decades of the history of the United States. We had this part two of the act, the second major act of the Civil War. We didn't lose 600,000 Americans, think about that. 600,000 Americans, thereabouts, lost in the Civil War in the 1800s, in the 1860s. Part two was the Civil Rights Movement here in America to solidify rights that were they all put into effect not necessarily right away but this was the major act solidifying the rights of blacks and down the road of course other minorities to be americans to be able to partake in the american way of life and it was black and white people running down going crazy fighting over this wow vietnam kids in the streets fighting going forward to trying to stop the war we'll never ever draft again unless uh, unless we're invaded if anybody's smart, last thing you want to have is a draft and have a, some foreign wars. Everybody can start protesting against it. That's how these administrations have been getting away with Iraq and with Afghanistan. You had some of the most incredible uh, characters of all time during those years. Not only were we solidifying uh, uh, the civil rights, we had the war on poverty, and we have for Vietnam, we had all these characters that were involved in all this. You had JFK, you had RFK, you had Martin Luther King. You had LBJ. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you had uh, Ho Chi Minh, Mao Zedong, and Mrs. Mao in the Little Red Book. You had big men. You had Lon Nol. We started going to Cambodia and uh, and 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 uh, Laos. Lon Nol, Prince Sihanouk, uh, Fidel Castro in, in, in Cuba. All the young young people happening in these other countries bringing in communism, the argument over is there communism, does communism work? And then hanging over it all was you had Russia and are we gonna have nuclear attacks between each other? All this is just bubbling, going on. Then we go to the moon. Everybody loved it. We all hit the moon. Everybody's doing that. And while all this is going on, everybody's talking, everybody's getting crazy. The cauldron of energy is building and the music is just expressing everything that was going on in this country. The Beatles, the youthful enthusiasm, the British invasion, the youthful enthusiasm. Then all of a sudden this weird, loud, crazy music coming out of San Francisco. Who talking about politics suddenly Jefferson airplane this politics it all started earlier in the folkies with Pete Seeger and Peter Paul and Mary and uh, and then Bob Dylan and uh, when he goes and and goes electric after just being a folky going electric and then and they showed that on the uh, CNN special and of course Hendrix taking that and taking that music to a new level that's when I really started appreciating Dylan was listening to Hendrix my mistake it took me too long to appreciate how great Dylan was. And, and while all this is going on, that's what everybody's doing, I have more music. And then after, after, the, after the, the psychedelic music starts going, then it starts getting weirder and weirder, and you have Monterey, and you have Woodstock, and this looks like the Summer of Love, I mean, the summer of love in 67, I believe. Then Woodstock, where the love generation, and then the whole thing implodes at Altamont as the Stones were singing Sympathy for the Devil. Imploding, major. Everybody dying. 68, Eugene McCarthy, George McGovern, Richard Daly, Mayor Richard Daly sending out his thugs. Quit talking about Richard Sherman being a thug. Mayor Richard Daly sending out his thugs and J. Edgar Hoover sending his FBI agents out to do everything. And then we talk about some more characters. Richard Milhouse Nixon, Spiro T. Agnew, George Wallace, Lester Maddox. Oh, 
Oh, look what was going on in the 60s. It was an inflection point for this country. Inflection point. And then you had incredible TV and TV started blowing. So music was the Twitter and music was the Facebook. TV was our Instagram. Suddenly we're seeing things across the country live. Frank Reynolds was okay on ABC. Not many people watched ABC at night. But you had Huntley Brinkley report on NBC. Good night, David. Good night, Chet. David Brinkley, of course, became one of the greatest well-known um, commentators of all time, and he took Sunday news and really made it big. And then, of course, Walter Cronkite, and that's the way it is. That was our Instagram. And then, of course, the other part of our Instagram was the newspapers, the Post, the Times. Baltimore here had three newspapers daily, a morning and two evenings plus two Sundays. People were involved. Things were happening. There was energy. Everything was exploding out. Things, a lot of things turned out badly, but this inflection point changed the country and generally changed the country for the good. When people start talking, so when May comes, I'm excited to see this series in May. When May comes, it should be great on CNN. You may want to watch the, the British Invasion of, um, episode now. I would say wait and see it in the whole so you can understand the whole of the 60s. I hope this series is that good. But the next time some of these people start telling you how the 60s was a waste, the 60s was this, and nothing happened, the 60s, the 60s was a joke, and the 60s was a jive, just tell them very simply, cool man, groovy, you dig? Peace. <laughs>